So if I were to press a predefined key, you'll notice that these will toggle. So the EP, if I played it now, and if I toggle it back to piano. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Rudy Banks of Banks Music. I'm gonna bring you guys another May sampler tutorial. The last tutorial we talked about instruments and groups. Today we're gonna to talk about key switching. Let's go. So I wanna take you over to my doll. I use Studio One. And most of you guys know Contact by Native Instruments. And a lot of times you'll see, if you look at the keyboard layout here, you'll see different colors on the key bed. And in this example, you see red, you see orange and yellow. This is broken out into loops. And then these keys here are key switches. So one says staccato. These are different articulations of how the, the, the yellow keys will be played. And if I change the articulation, so you can change, you can hear the difference. This is not what's in May Sampler. So I wanted to explain that before we go further because I don't want to get you guys confused. In the last tutorial, I showed you guys how to approach setting up instruments and groups. In this example, we did a category and a type approach. So keys was the instrument. We saved the instrument as keys, which is a category. And then we had different groups under that. So we have an EP, we have piano, those are types of keys. And so now, rather than having to toggle these buttons back and forth, I'll show you how to set up key switching. So I already have an example made up. So if I were to press a predefined key, you'll notice that these will toggle. So the EP, if I played it now, and if I toggle it back to piano, All right, so that's how I do that, and that's key switching. And then another example I'm gonna show you is how to set up key switching that looks more similar to a contact layout. As you notice in the previous screen, you didn't have the, it was all one key bed. This example, I have two keys. So I actually created two key beds. So I have a key bed here, and then I'm switching is here. So now if I were to do it, it's easier to see. So you can see the EP switching and I can still do the same thing. So the same thing with my MIDI controller. So now let's go over to May Sampler. Okay, so here's the EP group and all you have to do is change the selection. So the other example where we had the forward and reverse arrows, now you're gonna, instead of saying manually selected by users, we're gonna switch that to key switch. And then the only other thing you have to do then is know which key you want to switch. So they're, they're numbered. So as you can see, my EP, my samples, my sample range goes from 26 to 120. So I wanna use these two notes here. So this is 26, that's 25, 24. EP is gonna be on 25 and then piano is gonna be on 24. So 25, I would just scroll here or type in what my key switch will be. And then I'll do the same thing for piano. So my piano, make sure my selection is switched to note. Make sure that at least one of your devices or one of your groups is selected. So the piano is gonna be my default. As you notice, EP is not selected. So that way when I load up my doll, I'll have a default group already set up. And then the last thing is making sure I right to pick the right key. So this is note 24. So note 24 will be here and note 25 will be there. And that's how, if we go here. So if I do my key switching, so I'm able to do that. Okay, so let's open up the next example. This was a little bit different. The only thing different is the the interface, so your graphical user interface is different. Sometimes you have to play around with um, your range a little bit to get that. See how you to get that gray arrow out. So you might have to play around with that a little bit, but 
I'm just roughing it in so you can see it. But so all I'll do is just right click on the screen and I'll add a new keyboard. And then I'll look at the existing keyboard. 60 is the height. So I just need to make sure when I create a new keyboard that they match. And that's how I'm able to add a new keyboard that you can stretch it and do what you need to. The key is these key switches, they're not in the same range of my samples. So you can see my samples are all the way across there. So I don't want to key switch on top of that sample because every time I switch a key, it's going to be playing a note and you don't want that. So just remember that. The other beauty of having a separate keyboard, now you have separate controls. You can adjust the colors. So this keypad, I made it yellow. You can make it anything you want. If you wanted it green, you can play with the opacity. So there's a lot of stuff you can do to, to format that. But that's the fundamental difference. I have a, a guitar plugin that I'm working on. And so I have two keybeds here. And one, this is not key switching, but I have like guitar loops on one side like that I created on my guitar samples. And then on the left side, I have a corresponding drum pattern. So if I were to play these together, see? And the only thing about um, May Sampler right now is the time stretching. So as you notice, if I play my loops, so that's the original key. But if I play different keys, it changes the speed. So I'm hoping we'll get some updates in Maze um, to be able to handle that. Because I want to be able to play different notes. I want the pitch to change, but I don't want the speed to change. And that's one thing I haven't fully released this product yet. But yeah, this is something I'm working on. So guys, I hope that helps you out. I gave you guys a quick overview of key switching. Just remember that it's used to switch between your groups. For me, the best way to use it is when I don't want to take my hands off the keys, all I have to do is press another key switch and keep playing. I don't have to grab my mouse and click, you know, a forward and reverse button to change groups. So to me, it's a good, efficient way of, you know, switching between groups. If you like this content, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.